Hi, Ron Maines here for my father, David Maines, whose words continue to live on at 100words.ca. Check it out every day. We are in uh, Amos chapters three and four on this two year journey through the Bible. And our key verses are uh, three verse seven and four verse 13. It says, surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. For behold, he who forms mountains and creates the wind, who declares to man what is his thought is and makes the morning darkness, who treads the high places of the earth, the Lord God of hosts is his name. Some believe that God as the creator has abandoned his creation, hanging the world in space and then moving to another part of the cosmos. Amos makes it clear that God has been involved in the past, is involved in the present, and will be involved in the future as well. Our key verse uh, states that the Lord is constantly communicating with us. He wants us to listen, and Amos feels compelled to prophesy, to speak out what God has revealed to him. Our second key verse is not only stating the fact of God's creation, but it shows that Amos is worshiping God for who he is. The exercise of prophesying is not just foretelling, but forth telling as well, speaking of God's greatness as we worship him. Both chapters, Amos uh, 3 and 4, begin with the word hear. Are we listening carefully? Our prayer for today is, Lord God, I run into your open arms and I pray that I will continually remain in your loving, strong embrace, hearing your voice as I read your word and doing that which pleases you. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen.